Man, I really, really want a tasty mango. It is so good! I know. They only grow in the summer, though, which is when the temperature is pretty hot, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, what is the temperature right now? Um, let me see. It is 81 degrees right now oh. in Fahrenheit. That's quite comfortable. I yeah. mean, imagine if that was in Celsius. Oh, if that was in Celsius, we wouldn't be here filming this right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, it was a joke. But I mean, really though, it is. it presents a very interesting predicament. That is, why does America use Fahrenheit when the rest of the world uses Celsius? That's actually a really good question. And it actually starts from way back in colonial times. Oh, really? Yeah, so whenever Britain was still ruling over America and subsequently the rest of the world, um, it was using the imperial system, which is called the imperial system because empire, the British empire. Uh, empire imperial. Yes. That's nice. So the imperial system, it's the system that uses pounds, miles, Fahrenheit, things like that. And it was pretty fine. America was using it. A lot of places were using it, all of its colonies, but whenever Europe was switching to the metric system, so did Britain, and most of its colonies, they did too. Some even switched before, like India. Oh. Yeah, and America by this time was free and independent, and they decided, well, I'm not gonna switch, and that was mainly because they didn't want to switch from this from this uh, system they've been using for centuries now to a new system, even if it was easier to use. And as such, they'd only made it a law that was voluntary, that the people could switch from imperial to metric if they wanted, and nobody switched. <laughs> so that's why America still uses those units, Fahrenheit and miles, Things like that, and with just a few adjustments, they called it the U.S. Customary System. That's the system we use today. Oh wow, that's a really great explanation, Amitha. And it's not just that either. Fahrenheit is a perfect fit for America because its resolution is a lot more finer than Celsius. Oh. I mean, for example, I'll take the example of just our body temperatures. In Fahrenheit, the normal body temperature is 98.6, and the temperature when one has a fever is 100.4. Now compare that to Celsius. 37 degrees is the body temperature normally. In Celsius, 38 degrees is the fever. So take a look at this difference. This right here is the Celsius difference, 1 degree, and this this right here is the difference with Fahrenheit. That's a pretty big difference. To I mean, honest. if you were to compare the resolution difference, and you see, well, Celsius has one degree, but Fahrenheit has 1.8. Which do I choose? Of course, I'm gonna pick the larger one. So Fahrenheit it is for America, and that is why America uses Fahrenheit, and the rest of the world uses Celsius. Thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash and Amrita.